Hey Aaron, I'm Jesse, I'm 15 years old, and I need help with my tray flips. For, before I like try, I'm gonna do some tricks I, know, I already know how to do first. Hey dude, thanks a lot for sending in your video. This caption down here at the bottom is so interesting to me um, because I personally have been making myself skate every day. For a long time there, I was only skating on Saturday and Sunday. But now I'm actually, no matter how late it is, I'm actually going out and skating every single day. And yeah, it's just amazing how much it helps you to progress super fast. And now I'm going to try my tray flips. There's three problems I have. Sometimes I won't get the full rotation, kind of the 70, 70 flip. And then um, sometimes I will get the rotation but my board will do a full kickflip. And then sometimes I'll do the full rotation and kickflip, and I will land on the nose. Sometimes on one foot, and sometimes I'll come really close. I've also landed biggie trays, but I've only done that once. Yeah, that's pretty much my problem. But um, thank you for helping. I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you very much. Awesome. So thank you for putting so much work into this. This is a very detailed 360 flip skate support. I love it. Cool. So basically you're correct in all the things that are going wrong. Um, so good job for spotting that. You're not fully rotating it sometimes in terms of the kickflip. Other times it's not fully rotated in terms of the 360. And sometimes when it is, you land too far on the nose. Um, interestingly enough, all of those problems are going to be handled with one practice step that we're going to um, work on. And I'm going to explain the step and why it is and how it works. And yeah, I just got to repeat. Um, there is one practice step that you can do that's going to handle all of those things. So basically what that practice step is, is you're going to step off on purpose with your back foot and then you're going to do the tray flip, catch it with your front foot, and put the board down. Now I'm going to explain why it handles every single one of those problems. Um, there's a very specific way I want you to do this practice step. So the first problem that we're going to go over is landing too far forward on the nose. So this step makes it so you actually practice kicking the board out in front of you, in front of you toward your front foot, and that's where you want it to go. You want it to go out in front of you because actually your front foot is hanging out there on purpose ready to catch it at any moment but you purposely have to practice kicking it out in front and stepping off with your back foot behind the tail of the board I want to make that very clear when I say step off with your back foot I don't mean towards the toe side I mean towards the back the back end of the tail I want you to step off in that direction shoot your board forward then practice that catch with your front foot so that's how it's going to handle you landing too far forward on the nose. Now for the other problems, the flick, that is just in your flick. And this same step is going to help that as well because factually what you're doing is you're actually practicing the full rotation. That includes a 360 and the flip. So you make sure that your board does the full 360 rotation, purposely step off with your back foot and put your front foot on. It's a great, 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 great practice step. You don't have to fully commit. You're not even trying to land on the board. You're just basically purposely practicing the step of doing the full rotation, and that includes the 360 and the kickflip, and then you're practicing the step. So imagine this right here. I do every single thing I'm doing right here with this full scoop of my back foot super hard, but then right there, my back foot just goes backwards onto the ground. The board is shooting forward in front of me. Then my front foot is there hanging out, at which point it will catch the board now and then put it down. Once you get that, it'll be very easy to just fully commit and put your back foot on. Um, but yes, on the tray flips, you are leaning back. You pop them from the back seat. You're leaning back towards the tail and you're shooting it forward. And that is what's going wrong. I've, I've had people learn this trick super fast just by putting that one thing in. So definitely do it. And for any of you guys looking to master these tricks and more, the tray flip or 360 flip 
is covered in Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 5. So if you guys are looking to learn that trick or any of the other ones, get all of the volumes of Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's available on iBooks and at BrailleSkateboarding.com. Thanks for your support.